Hi friends, today we're gonna to be reading a book called Skin Like Milk, Hair of Silk. What are similes and metaphors? And this is written by Brian P. Cleary and illustrated by Brian Gable. Okay, so in case you don't know what a simile is, a simile is a comparison between two unlike things that uses like or as. A metaphor is a way of describing something by calling it something else. So when we say your skin is like milk, that is a comparison using the word like, meaning it looks creamy, smooth, like milk might be. Your hair is of silk. It's made of silk. That is saying that it is silk, but you're really also still comparing there. You're trying to say that the hair is soft. So let's read some more. Similes are phrases that compare to unlike things, as in her hair is soft as silk or teachers eat like kings. Just like these, all similes contain an as or like. Those are the clue words. You can look for as or like and know you're talking about a simile. And here's just one example. She's as sharp as any spike. Smooth as jazz, skin like milk, and cheeks as rose, red as roses. Similes compare things, like my dad's as old as Moses. Similes can help you say that someone in your class is as bright as polished pennies or as slow as thick molasses. They're helpful in describing people, things, and even places like fresh folded laundry, or I'll jag it like my braces. Love the pictures in this book. They help you paint a picture. You can see inside your brain. Here he's painted a picture of him opening a brain. Like he's as clever as a fox or her tears ran like rain. Once you learn about them, they can change your writing habits. You'll write one, two, and then a few. They'll multiply like rabbits. Good writers do use similes and metaphors. They help you have pictures in your mind. They help you understand how something feels or looks or even is acting. Metaphors are similar to similes, but yet they don't use like or as when they're comparing. Don't forget. So metaphor will say it literally is. Metaphors will often use an is or has or are, as in you are my sunshine or the singer is a star. He's so sour. So we don't have a like or as there, but we understand that when they say he's so sour, they don't mean he tastes sour. It means he's acting like not great. Like someone who's sour is kind of has a unpleasant personality. She's so sweet. We don't mean that if we licked her, she would taste sweet. What we mean is she's very nice. His memory is foggy. All of these are metaphors, just like his voice is froggy. Even chill out or be cool, a heated conversation, an icy glare, a frozen stare, or a very warm ovation. As times, a sense of touch is at the root of such a phrase a velvet voice, a coarse reply, or some softly spoken praise. So when we say he has a velvet voice, we don't mean that you could feel it and it would touch it. We mean it's smooth like velvet. Or if you had a coarse reply, that would mean that you're kind of like, it's not that you're bumpy, it's that your attitude is kind of like, what's going on? If you're softly spoken praise, that just means that you said something nice, but you didn't announce it to everyone. So right, get busy as a bee. There's a simile. Your work is sure to blossom. There's a metaphor. With similes and metaphors, no doubt it will be awesome. So what are similes? What are metaphors? Do you know? And hopefully you do at this point. All right, good luck.